channel to see my other projects. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. Links in the description. How to knit a bolero? Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. Today I will show how to knit easy bolero for a baby girl for 5 years. If you do like my channel, please subscribe, comment share the videos to your friends and like them. I used yarn 100% moisturized cotton, 2-3 balls, yarn weight 50 g, 110 m, 120 yards. You can choose your favorite yarn. Circular knitting needles number 3 mm US2, stitch markers, measuring tape, and scissors. Let's get started! Measure the neck circumference. For a baby for 5 years, neck circumference equals 33 cm, 1259 inches. Make a gauge swatch. Use kind of yarn and stitch pattern you've chosen for your project. For our example, gauge is equal to stitches in 1 cm. Calculate the number of stitches necessary to cast on. Number of stitches equal neck circumference, multiple gauge. 33 cm is the neck circumference for a baby for 5 years, multiply 2 stitches, equal 66 stitches. There are 3 parts in seamless bolero, front, back and 2 sleeves, it's a 1 part. They are separated from each other by the regular lines. Each regular line can have 1, 2, 3 or more stitches in it. I wanted 2 stitches per inch line. The total number of stitches divided by 3 parts. First part for the front, second part for the back, third part for two sleeves. If number of stitches is not divisible by three, then add the remaining stitches to the front part. 66 stitches divide three equal 22 stitches. Now we have back 22 stitches, two sleeves, 40 stitches, front 22 stitches plus eight regular stitches equal 66 plus two age stitches. The neckline of a garment with regular sleeves should be shaped properly. To make it lower in the front and high in the back, one should create short rows to form a neckline before you join all stitches in a circle and start to make increases. For this, you need to divide your stitches on a sleeve. On my sleeve, I divide stitches on the three part. Total two and two and three stitches. Schematical it looks like this. Mark the starting point and start knitting. When you reach the first point, turn your work and continue knitting in the opposite direction until you reach this point. Turn your work and continue knitting until you reach this point. Continue to knit short rows until you've reached all points. Stop in these stitches. Start to knit. Cast on 68 stitches. Knitting starts from the outside of the collar. 
Knit the first four rows on the right side, knit stitches and on the wrong side, purl stitches. Having knitted four rows of basic stitch knit, begin to make a tip. For this, next row we knit yarn over, knit two stitches together, yarn over, knit two stitches together. Repeat to the end row. On the wrong side, only pearl stitches. Then bend in half and join in stitches. Pick up stitch and knit together with the stitch on the needle. My collar is ready and we start to make a short rose. Play the stitch markers for the red lines according to your calculation. We start to knit a front part. Knit 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, eleven stitches. Play the stitch marker. Slip the two stitches without knitting. Next marker. It's a first red one line. Then we knit a first leaf. Knit seven stitches. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven stitches. Play the stitch marker. Slip the two stitches without knitting and next marker. It's a second regular line. Then we can need 22 stitches on the back part and play the stitch marker, slip the two, two stitches without knitting and next marker. It's a third red one line. And then we can need a sleeve. It's a second sleeve and 11 stitches on the front part. On the wrong side, we need only pearl stitches. stitches to the end. In the wrong side, in the red one line stitches, we need only pearl stitches. Now we start to knit a short rows, right side, knit 11, each stitch and 11 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Place marker, yarn over, Slip the two stitches without knitting. Yarn over and place marker. It's a first a regular line. Then we knit seven stitches. On a sleeve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place marker. Yarn over, slip the two stitches without knitting, yarn over and place marker. It's a second regular line. Then knit 22 stitches on the back, place marker, yarn over, slip the two stitches without knitting, yarn over and place marker. Then we knit only two stitches. When you reach the first point, turn your work and continue knitting in the opposite direction until next point. On the wrong side, only pearl stitch and we don't make increase. Only 
girls teach? And on the next sleeve, we only need two stitches. When you reach a sleeve stitch, knit two stitches, turn your work, make yarn over and continue knitting in the opposite direction until next point on the right side. Yarn over, slip the two stitches without knitting and then yarn over. To the next red round line. We repeat. Yarn over, slip the two stitches without knitting and yarn over. And knit two. Total four stitches on a sleeve. Turn the work. Continue knitting in the opposite direction until next point on the wrong side. Don't make increase on the wrong side. On a second sleeve, knit 4 stitches. Continue to knit short rows until you reach all points.
Now, where I just touch open complete rows again. Your back will be longer than your front part. Continue reclining races until Smith measures the circumference of your upper arm. My yoke length equals 16 cm, 6 inches. Separating the sleeves and body. It's time to separate the body from the sleeves. Once you separate the body and sleeves, it will start to look like an actual bolero. You will be placing your sleeve stitches on waist yarn, casting on stitches on the underarm and during the front and back. Move your stitches on a waist yarn and on your right needle cast stitches. I am casting four stitches and then knit stitches on the back. When you come to the right sleeve, same thing, transfer the sleeve stitches onto waist yarn, cast on your underarm stitches and knit to the end. Now you will have just the body stitches on your needles with two sleeves of waist yarn. Knit 10 rows and begin to make a teeth. For this next row we we'll knit. Yarn over. Two stitches together. Yarn over. Knit two stitches together. Repeat to the end row. On the wrong side, on the pearl stitch. Then bend in half and join stitches together.
which you need to through the leaf stitches before removing the base yarn. Picking up underarm stitches. We start to make a sleeve. After you picked up all the stitches needed, continue knitting and begin to make a tip on a sleeve. Thread your yarn needle and self sleeve. Then tie the yarn and cut any excess yarn. After you finish one sleeve, make sure to make a second one. Make your second sleeve exactly the same way as the first one. Make a button hole. My ballero is ready. Thank you for watching. My video tutorial is over. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.